Good afternoon, Year 2. Welcome to Thursday's RE lesson video. So you should have watched uh, the couple of videos that I put a link on the planning file first before watching this. This is just for a little bit of extra information and to get you started on your task today. So we're looking again at the good news. And remember on Monday, we looked at how Jesus was the way in which God sent the good news to earth, the gospel, all about Jesus's life, about his teachings, about his words, about his miracles, about the fact that he died and then was resurrected. All these things show us God's love and forgiveness and that he wants to build a closer relationship with us. So we learned about how Jesus spreads this good news and how Jesus is the example to us about how we can be good news people. I'm going to look at that today. So we learned about how Jesus, J Jesus shows God's good news. And the good news is the news that God loves us, that he forgives us, that he wants to free us from our sins and wants us to become closer to him. Because when we're free of our sins, we can have eternal life with him in heaven. Today we're going to think about how we can be good news people. How can we do that? How can we be like Jesus, which is what we want from being good news people? So Matthew, Mark, Luke, John and many others were disciples of Jesus. Disciples is a, it's a posh word that kind of means followers or almost like students of Jesus. OK. And when Jesus went up to heaven, they stayed on earth and they continued to teach others just like Jesus did. They became the first good news people. They followed Jesus's example. They did what Jesus would do. They taught how Jesus would teach. They couldn't do miracles, not often anyway, but they did sometimes get given the power to do miracles. What part of God can be sent to allow people to do amazing things? That's right, it's the Holy Spirit, isn't it? So there are examples of stories where Jesus' disciples are given the power by the Holy Spirit to do amazing things that you could almost call miracles. But the only person who could do real miracles is Jesus. For example, um, when Jesus wanted his friends to go and spread the word of Jesus' good news, which is what we are going to do, um, he, the Holy Spirit was sent to them to give them the power to speak in different languages that they didn't know before. So that was a miracle that was done through God, wasn't it? OK. They spread the news of God's love and forgiveness and showed others how to behave. So they taught others how to be Christians and they converted others into believing and following Jesus to having that faith, that important word faith in Jesus and God, believing in them without seeing them. We're also disciples of Jesus, all of us. The job Jesus has given us is to spread the good news of God's love and forgiveness. So just like Jesus, just like his disciples, just like Father Jim and the priests, just like uh, everyone in the church, we have got a job to spread the good news, to do those things, to live like Jesus. And how can we be good news people? We can follow the example of Jesus from the stories we've heard. So can you think about how how can we follow Jesus' example from the stories? What's Jesus like in his stories? Is he rude? He's not, is he? He's very kind, isn't he, and very polite. Is he mean? No, he's quite generous. He gives things away. Does he only care about himself? No, he loves everybody, doesn't he? Would he put himself at risk to save others? He would. And that can be quite hard to do, can't it, to, to, to do that? I'm not telling you to do that, but some people do, don't they? So we can follow the example of Jesus from the stories we've heard. We can tell others about God's love and forgiveness. So we can spread the message like Jesus wants us to do about God's love and forgiveness, that good news. We can pray and talk to God regularly. We can go to church. We can say sorry for the bad things that we do. Saying sorry is so important. And that's how we get our forgiveness, not just from our friends and our family, but from God as well. We can give thanks to God for the good things we have. So we give thanks for the good and we say sorry for the bad. 
and we can help others whenever we can. So if there's someone in need, we can help them. If one of your friends is struggling with their work, you could help them to understand it. If you see someone who doesn't have a home, you could ask your mum and dad if you can buy them a hot drink or something, couldn't you? Can you think of anything else we can do to be good news people? I'm sure you've got some great examples. So your activity today, you're going to create a poster which gives people advice on the things they can do to be good news people. Think about what it is to be a good Christian, how important it is to be like Jesus. But it's not good enough to just say we can be like Jesus. What can we do that's like Jesus? Try to give reasons linked to the things we know about Jesus. So giving reasons using those conjunctions because so that when are really important in your poster. So, for example, you might draw a picture of someone helping someone who's poorly and your sentence might be underneath it. You could help people who are poorly because Jesus helped the lepers when nobody else would. So that's linking it to a story we know about why, G why we would do that based on what Jesus does. Or you could say, for example, you could teach others to have faith in God because when Jairus had faith in God, his daughter was brought back to life. So do you remember the story of Jairus, his daughter? His daughter died and he wasn't really a follower of Jesus. He wasn't a person who liked Jesus, but he had faith and he believed in Jesus. And because he believed, Jesus was able to help him. And make sure you use pictures and lots of colour to make your poster really stand out. You want a really good heading, something like be a good news person. OK. I'm looking forward to seeing your posters um, when you've finished. I think there's an extra activity for you on the planning sheet. So have a look through that if you want to. Remember, you don't need to do it. Good luck, you too.